Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh Spoon here, Ableton Certified Trainer. I wanted to do a little video on how you can build a complete rig now in Ableton Live. So in 8, they introduced the amp and the cabinet, and now in 9.2, which is in beta right now, uh, they introduced the tuner. So now you can pretty much set everything up inside of Ableton Live and tune your instrument and perform with your guitar or your bass. So I'm also going to show you two racks that I created that allow you to tune your guitar without going out to the house. So you can route it where you can hear in your headphones if it's in tune or not, tune it up, and then go back to your playing rig for the audience to hear. So this is really good for people who use Ableton Live for the stage. All right, cool. Let's check it out. So here's the tuner. I'm going to switch to this track and I'll just play into it. So it allows you to tune. And I'm just turning the tuning peg on the bass. That one's really out of tune. And you just bring it up to where the circle comes up and it's green. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Not unless that's your thing. Just turn the tuning peg up or down, depending on where it needs to be. If you don't know what to tune to, you can look up standard guitar tuning or standard bass tuning. Uh, e, A, D, and G. So right now we're hearing all of the chorus effect and the amp effect and everything. And uh, that may not be an issue for you, but some people it may be. So let me show you how I built this rack that allows you to have a pass through so your audio can go out to the audience from your stage and allow you to switch to a tuner that goes straight to your in-ear or headphones or monitoring setup so the audience doesn't hear it. For these examples, I'm gonna use my mic here for the simulation of the sound going out to the audience. And then I'll use my computer audio for the tuning sound, which will be the sound that you would hear in your headphones or in-ear monitors. So let's look at how to set up a nice pass-through rack for easy guitar tuning. So the first thing I want to do is put this tuner in a rack. So I'm going to right-click, go up to Group, and open up the Show Hide Chain List. Then I want to name this chain, so I'm going to name it Tuner. And then I'm going to make another chain. I'm going to name this pass through. And right now, if I was to play something, they would, the sound would go through both of these. I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is select both chains and I'll wait till the bracket shows up, drag both all the way across, right click in this area, distribute ranges equally. So now, Half of it's going to be the tuner, half of it's going to be the pass-through. What I want to do is I want to switch this because most of the time you'll want it to pass through. And every once in a while in between songs or something like that, you would want to tune it. So I'm going to flip these. I'm going to right click up here uh, in the chain selector. And I'm going to map to macro one. And then we're going to rename this Pass Tune. So now when we turn this, it'll go from the path to the tune. To make this much simpler, what I'll do is I will key map this so that it'll toggle on or off. So it goes 0 or 127. And if you're a guitar player, you can map this through MIDI mapping on your soft step or any other type of thing, Looptimus, all those type of pedals to be able to have hands-free toggling. So I'll go over to the key and I'm gonna type one. And I already have one here for my final that's done. So if I type one, it'll toggle back and forth and you see it going from zero to 127. Cool. So the next thing we'll wanna do is we'll wanna shut off 
the audio out to the mains for the tuner, because right now if we play it, it'll play with the pass-through. And then if we toggle it, it'll still play with the pass-through. So there's two ways to get around this. One is with monitoring, and you can use that with external audio effects. With my audio interface I have right over here, I have the ability to have four outputs. So my first two are my mains, and my second two are my monitoring, and that allows me to listen with my headphones or in-ear monitors. So to change the routing on your interface, if you have four outs, you can go to Preferences, and then make sure your output is set to your interface, and then do Output Config, and then make sure your stereo pairs 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 are on. So once you have that set up, you can go to Audio 2, and then set that to 3 and 4. So it's going to, when you're tuning, it's going to go and tune, and then send that out to your monitors, or your in-ears, or your headphones. And then when it's on pass through, it's going to pass right through, and then go to the chorus and the amp and the cabinet. So let's test this out. So I'm going to switch to pass through. And let's go to tuner. So I am tuning my instrument before the next song and the audience isn't hearing anything. You can also hear that there's no chorus, there's no amp, anything like that. It's all a clean signal. Another way to do this, if you don't really want to monitor your sound, is to just switch this out with a utility. If you just need to visually look at it, and then just hit mute, and then no sound will go through. Another cool thing on this tuner is the histogram. So I'll play something. And it'll give you a history of where your pitch is. See? Very cool, very useful in a lot of different situations. I hope to show you some in the future. Cool, I'm Josh Spoon, Ableton Certified Trainer, Tuner, Amp, Cabinet, Guitar Bass Rig, all inside of Ableton Live. Very cool. See ya.